Hello everyone, good morning. This is Christian speaking again from Axio Support, API Gateway Support. Nice to see you again. Today I'm going to present you a particular setup with API Manager, uh, having as an inbound security setup an external OAuth uh, using Okta Identity Provider. Just before uh, starting the presentation, I'm going uh, very, very fast uh, to some uh, useful aspects of uh, our uh, website and our um, uh, resource of documentation. Um, you may get on the Axi community um, feedback, reactions, uh, resources useful for you. You may put questions here. So I'm quite sure you are familiar with Axi community. There are all the products presented here, grouped in the suites. Um, I'm going to refer only API management. On the API management, you may see documentation, uh, APIs, uh, GitHub, um, and also the um, list with uh, discussions, the most recent discussions. You may search uh, for a specific topic as well. For the one um, who are familiar with my uh, activity on uh, on the troubleshooting and API management uh, project, uh, I'm going to shortly remind you my previous articles referring to uh, setups and troubleshooting with API management software. Uh, this is one uh, um, um, using API portal with multiple managers, uh, troubleshooting for API portal. Uh, this is a uh, setup with integration builders. Here it's a useful article referring to the host name resolution of the servers, um, which hosts API uh, management, Cassandra, and everything. Uh, those articles are also um, accessible and uh, visible on API management, uh, actually, uh, YouTube channel here. And for today, I'm um, I'm going to, to, to show you this uh, out external, which is documented here. The facts uh, uh, I have um, I'm presenting you today is that um, this setup with all the parties involved, the API manager, Okta server, um, API gateway manager, um, uh, which logs everything and how the requests are done, how the configuration files are, are uh, set. This is the aim of the presentation today. So I'm going to present you the identity provider. I'm uh, using Okta as an IDP, identity provider. In order to have uh, this, um, this server set up, you have to create an account on your uh, email. Once you have the account ready, you will have an uh, instance of Okta, as you, as you see here. And in this instance, you have to uh, create the following. First, you have to create an application in the application service. You have to create an application. Uh, I have already created this application, my service app, and in going, before having this uh, uh, set up here, you have to add an application and create new app, select out service, click create, and follow all the steps. I'm not uh, uh, completing uh, this step, but I uh, just wanted to, to present you how to do. Uh, here in my applications, this is my service app. It has client ID, client secret. This is the instance I own on this account. Here are the uh, Okta API scopes. Uh, here there is nothing to set so far. There is another place uh, where the um, scopes are defined. And this application um, manipulate an um, 
Okta authorization server. This Okta authorization server is found in the security section API. So you have to add an authorization server, give it a name, and then you'll have this one. Here. You have to define at least one scope. I define the resource read as a default scope. This is mandatory to, to add here. And no other setups are required. Next, I'm going to show you the policy in the policy studio. I just want to mention that this is uh, done using uh, November um, 2020 version of the API uh, Gateway API Manager. I already set uh, the API uh, Manager instance on data for uh, verbose logging. Also, the instance and the listener. There are two settings here. This is important. Um, the policy studio presents this policy in the following way. This is the instance. And this is the URL. As you can see, uh, the exchange is done via URI and query string. Another aspect worth mentioning is that you have to add the Okta chain of certificates before and assign to this connect URL. I'm going to show you how. These are the scopes. You have to know that this is Java lang string and not Java util. Set attribute filter with uh, token true, token valid true. Reflect. Okay, for certificates, here are the uh, certificates loaded. And this was for Policy Studio. Now I'm going to show you um, API Manager. So this is the API Manager. Uh, there is a pet store uh, lo loaded twice. Uh, this one is uh, just for verification that uh, the API Manager works and uh, the requests are uh, virtualized and uh, forwarded to the Swagger I.O. And I will show you uh, that uh, everything is uh, all right with um, with an interrogation to the this pet store. And then this is the uh, pet store uh, published for uh, and set up for uh, out um, external with uh, inbound security. Okay.
Let's see. So we have a 200. It was an interrogation to get user by name method. And it was presented the use the user details stored for, for the user uh, one. So the virtualization works. And now I'm going to show you APM Manager. API virtualized for this uh, configuration. So it, it was selected inbound security out external. The setup is as follows. And as I told you, the uh, access token location, it is in the form body query string. And all other aspects are uh, default ones, certificates, uh, course, and everything. It is published and granted. And uh, this resources resource is uh, interrogated uh, via Postman. The setup in Postman is the following. Here is the uh, target uh, of the resources in API Manager. Here is the access token that I will show you right now. The um, authorization is added to request URL. The type is out to O. I'm going to get a new token. Click use token. It is populated here. And now sends the request. The request is successful. The resource is uh, provided and access it is 200. And here I'm going to show you uh, how it is logged in API Gateway Manager. Okay, so we have the request from uh, Postman to the API uh, manager, and then API manager sends the request to Okta instance. This is the response. And this is the response from API Manager to the, to the Postman. Two hundred. The significant parts in the trace are the following. This is the origin. Here is the location of the information query string. This is the SSL handshake with Octa. This is the post to Okta. And this is the answer, the response. As it was 200, API Manager goes further and provides the access to resource.
with four hours to swagger I.O. And the access is granted. And later on, the API manager responds to Postman with 200 and the payload. So this was the purpose of this video to show you how the connection is done, which headers, which ex information are exchanged, uh, how to set up each party involved, uh, Okta server, man API manager resource, how the request should be done for, uh, get, um, for the token and then using the token um, to the uh, resource server. So this was the presentation for an uh, out external security for a front-end API. Um, it is available right now. You may use it. You may comment in, uh, in, uh, in the community and you may expand and you may uh, use it in your configurations. This was uh, Christian speaking from Axie support, API Gateway support. Thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, see you next time.